Another rookie that has been absolutely dominating as of late is Kyle Pitts. I think, you know, we were hitting the panic button a little bit too early on Kyle Pitts to start the season. He opened up with great usage and, you know, the production just wasn't hitting, but it has been in recent weeks and back-to-back -back games. Week five, he went nine for 111 and one. You know, the Falcons have a bye the following week, and this week coming out of the bye, he drops seven for 163 on the Dolphins. He is currently tight end five in fantasy points per game and you know I think his ceiling this year remains tight end one overall you know he's going to beat Waller by the end of the year he's going to beat Kittle by the end of the year um and you know if the Chiefs offense keeps disappointing I think he could beat Kelsey by the end of the year especially if his usage remains as fantastic as it is he is playing a league leading 31.6 percent of his snaps out wide at the tight end position and he's got the talent to capitalize on that opportunity yeah Kyle Pitts another player that I think we were both high on in best ball um along with Jamar Chase I was drafting so much Kyle Pitts in the ninth tenth round on drafters and then in the sixth seventh round on underdog for a majority of the summer he's one of my highest owned tight ends and he's just a different breed man and you know, talent obviously does matter, but he was coming into a bunch of opportunity with Julio Jones leaving, and we're just now finally starting. We're just now starting to see that come to fruition. He's getting used at a very high rate right now. Um, he looks to be just the the clear cut first option in the Falcons' offense over Calvin Ridley. So that is definitely. Encouraging to see for Kyle Pitts, discouraging for Calvin Ridley uh, drafters, but he's, what, the tight end seven right now in just fantasy points, so he has a little bit of ground to make up if he wants to reach, you know, tight end one overall. He's like 40 points back out of Kelsey or, or whatever, so I think that is a stretch, but he should definitely finish top five in. I think he was one of the best values at tight end, even though he ended up being a fifth round pick by the end of best ball season. So Kyle Pitts, great. Jamar Chase is great. And I think just the the motto, or I, I think just you, you got to bet on talent, like especially with these guys that get drafted in the top five, they have to be good, right? <laughs> like, like these teams are drafting them with high capital, they have to be good, and I think these were two of the most undervalued uh, fantasy assets this season, and I think we got both of them right, so shout out to us.